The overall goal of this procedure is to isolate and expand mesenchymal stem stromal cells derived from human placenta tissue. Hi, I'm Mike Doran. I'm a group leader at the Queensland University of Technology at the Translational Research Institute in Brisbane, Australia. Hi, my name is Rebecca Pelicanos and I'm a researcher at the University of Queensland Centre for Clinical Research. Today I'll be demonstrating the MSC isolation procedure. The placenta is normally discarded following birth. Because the tissue is five to 700 grams in weight, it offers a uniquely large source of allogeneic mesochymal stem cells. Generally, people who are new to placental MSC isolation will struggle because they are unfamiliar with the placenta anatomy and unfamiliar with how to process the tissue and unfamiliar with what type of cells, maternal or fetal, will populate their final MSC culture. To assist researchers, we discuss these important details in this video. The first step in this procedure is to orient yourself with the placenta anatomy. The second step in this procedure is to manually dissect 10 grams of tissue from either the decidua, chorionic villi, or the chorionic plate using scissors. The first two steps are summarized again here schematically. In step three, the decidua, chorionic villi, or the chorionic plate tissues are further minced into fine pieces with scissors. In step four, cells are liberated from the small pieces of tissue via a one to two hour digestion in dysbase and collagenase one. In step five, the cells are separated from the fibrous tissue by washing them through a cell strainer. The cells are then collected, resuspended in culture medium, and put in